Hey guys and welcome to the first lesson of Hacking Captain Subasa 2 for NES. So in today's lesson, as you can see from the title, we're going to work on editing uh, Tsubasa's drive shot to add his picture uh, right before he kicks the ball, like the pro hacks. You know, like uh, you, you're probably familiar with what it looks like now. So let's take a look at it like now, what it looks like. The uh, default shot. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, his picture is shown, you know, the sprite. Uh, or, you know, like portrait of his uh, head. And then he kicks, you know, he, he goes into the shot, you know, like he's shown in the blue background and he kicks the ball. But uh, what I'm talking about is if we made a, a small uh, modification, let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so you see that right before he kicked the ball, his picture was shown a second time. So you, you saw it the first time and then you saw it again. So you see it twice. So I thought that this might be a very uh, uh, good basic lesson because uh, it is pretty involved if you're new to modding this game, but um, it's kind of easy to accomplish. Okay, so the very first thing we need to do let me just uh, go back up here and put back a few things. Okay, for each shot or pretty much any kind of move in the game, there is an offset, which means, uh, you know, like it's a hex offset. I'm, I'm assuming that you're, you know how to uh, open up your ROM in uh, HXD Editor. This program, you can get it for free from uh, Google. And then you just open up your, uh, your NES ROM. So for each move in the game, there is a hex offset, which means a location that you have to modify the codes of, you know, like the codes in that location to achieve the desired results and outcome. So for Tsubasa's drive shot, the offset or the location is when you press on your keyboard control and G is 21D0C. So I'll have this down in the description for you. So you go to this offset by default, it has this number or value in it, 4CAB. You need to be looking at two bytes, 4C and the AB. Okay, and the way this works is this is a, sort of like an abbreviation, an abbreviated code, or maybe we can call it like a, a pointer, which goes to yet another location, which contains the codes all the codes for Tsubasa's shot, you know, like uh, the background color, that blue color, how wide the background can be, uh, how uh, long do you see Tsubasa in that background, like just a second, a quick second, or do you want it, you know, like longer, maybe five seconds or so, uh, his picture, you know, all these details. Okay, you can't get them all in here. This is just like a small pointer or abbreviation that goes to that full location and the way to know which locate you know what location that is is there's a way to calculate this so let's go into notepad uh, let's open up a brand new notepad here okay so this letter a becomes a 22 i'll write it underneath it right here this b remains the same let's space these out a little okay so the 20 the a becomes a 22 the b remains the same the uh the four becomes a five so it's always plus one for this number right here whatever it is even if it's a letter it becomes like you just add one to it so if it's a letter b it becomes a c etc so you just plus one so this will become a five and the c remains the same So just like that. 
And then what you do is you take this and you kind of reverse it. You start with the with the 22 uh, and the B, the 22 and the B, and you reverse that with the 5C. So it becomes like this. That's your, sorry, 22B, 5C. That's your offset where all the uh, codes for Tsubasa's shot are. Okay, so if you if this is confusing, you can pause and you know like uh, repeat this slowly so you you get it so that you know you you understand it. All right, so we're gonna go to this offset. I'm gonna copy this offset and Control G, paste it. Okay, and uh, let's bring it up higher. All right, so from this F3 right here to this FB, these are all the codes for Tsubasa's shot. If I change something here, if if I put you know, like let's let's say I put a nine here. Let's see what happens in game. That ninety one is Tsubasa's picture, or uh, you know, like his face, his sprite. So I just changed it. So let's go ahead and see what happens now. So now it's Carlos's face because the a nine belongs to Carlos from Flamengo. Uh, I think uh, the, uh, there's obviously a different one for the Brazil Carlos, but this is, you can see from his shirt, if you're familiar with this game, that this is the Flamengo Carlos. So, you know, depending what you put there, it'll make the change and reflect it in game. Okay, so um, let's go back and put Tsubasa back here. That was 91. Okay. And, uh, you know, you're limited on space, so you can't just, uh, you know, like these are assigned um, and reserved, so you can't go past this FB. So if you start messing around and adding more codes here, it'll work, but um, uh, you'll break something else. So when the time comes for these codes here, whatever they are to be accessed, your game will most likely crash. Okay, or or the the shot that you're or whatever move this is accessing is not going to happen. So you'll break something. So you can't just go and you know like uh, mess around with the codes here. What you need to do is you need to readdress or repoint that offset to somewhere like this. If you're assuming you're using the uh, Japanese or English version of the game, it uh, because it depends. It varies by by version by language. So in this area, starting with, um, uh, it normally starts with here, 3FD20. Uh, so let me go ahead and erase all of these. I was, you know, like messing around here before. So I'm just going to take a bunch of these Fs. The F just indicates that it's empty. There's nothing in it, you know, it's available. But not any area that has F in the game uh, you know, like there are other areas that show FFFF, but you can't use them. You know, you, you have to uh, do something else. We'll, we'll cover that in a future topic, uh, you know, how to activate them and be able to use them. But, but not, they're not all meant to be used. This one is readily available, the uh, 3FD20. So uh, you, can, you can move the codes here. This, and now you can put in as many codes as you want. You can see here, you know, this is all available. Okay, so go, going back to this 21D0C, this 21D0C is the abbreviation that tells it to go to where? It tells it to go to 22B5C. Okay, so 21D0C tells it to go to 22B5C. So what we need to do is replace that 4CAB with that uh, the abbreviation of the F3 FD20 because this is where we want to go. This is where we want to put the codes in this empty spot here. So the abbreviation for this 3 FD20 is 10 FD. It's basically like the the same, almost the same, you know, but it's a, a bit different. Each each um, kind of code or offset has a different kind of calculation. You know, like diff there are several kinds. So for the 3 FD20. The abbreviation is 10 FD. So basically what we do is we reverse the FD and the, and the 10. We add one to this one right here and we put a three in the beginning. So we reverse it like this FD add one to the one of the 10 here. So it becomes 20 and we add a three right here. It becomes three FD 20. 
Okay, so anyway, this is the abbreviation for that. So we take that and we go to Tsubasa's uh, uh, abbreviated um, offset, which was this one, 21D0C, right here. And we put our 10FD here, okay? So now we go to 3FD20 and we put whatever codes we want. And the codes to, um, uh, to show Tsubasa's picture before the, uh, the shot are these right here to, to show it like a second time. As you can see, the 91, as I told you uh, a few moments ago, the 91 is the code for Tsubasa's uh, face or sprite. Uh, and you can see it repeated twice, once up here and once down here. Now let's go over these codes a bit just to explain so you get a, a feel for what they do. So we talked about the sprite. Okay, the 30 is the frame. So the frame for Tsubasa is, and many other players is 30. But uh, Huga, for example, would be 31. Otherwise, you won't see the way his shoulders are. You know, his sleeves are, are rolled um, around his shoulders. If you use 30 for Huga, you won't see his uh, sleeves rolled around his shoulder. And if you use 31 for Tsubasa, he will look like Huga uh, with the rolled sleeves um, you know, of his, uh, near his shoulder. Okay, the 3C is the duration. The higher this number, the longer you'll see the picture. So if you go like, uh, put 90 or 99 here, or maybe a letter E and uh, uh, a number, or EF, let's say, would be the longest, you know. So the higher it goes, you know, like it, you'll see it for three seconds or so. But right now it's only going to show for a second or half a second, 3C. So um, what else do we have? Uh, this 8E is the animation showing you Tsubasa in, uh, you know, like performing the shot. You know, like when he's going down the blue color, this is, this is him right here. This 4A is uh, how wide you want that blue color, which is the background, you know, that he's showing in. So if you use something like a... Um, 66 here number 66 this would be the wide one that covers the whole the full screen we'll try that in a second to see what it looks like now the blue color is uh um okay that one is not included here we would need to make some more modifications this will be in a future uh this is just the default shot this will be in a future lesson and topic but this 16 is the sound you hear, the one that goes like, you know, like when he's about to shoot. We can make it, we'll, try, we'll play around with it and make it something else. This 28 is the duration of him in that blue color in the, in the background. The higher, again, the higher the number, the longer you'll see him. And we'll play around with that uh, a little. Anyway, so let's, I think that's going to be enough for today's lesson. Let's take these codes and paste them. Uh, here. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and test it out now. Well, you've already seen what it looks like, but I'll do it again quickly. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And now if I wanted to uh, stirring up the volume a little. If I wanted to hear maybe this kind of sound, uh, I'll change the 16 to 17. Notice what's going to happen now. You see how we changed the sound? Uh, so if we now wanted, uh, let's try, as I said, to put like a, uh, I think a 66 here, and maybe we'll uh, also make this EF, this 28, we'll change it to EF and the 4A to 66, and let's see what happens here. So you saw that? We saw Tsubasa much uh, longer in the frame. You know, the duration was longer 
and the frame covered the whole the full screen we covered the screen it wasn't so narrow anymore we made it a wide background um in the future you know we'll cover other topics like how to change the color of the background and uh also the way he kicks the ball to make it look like these pro hacks but i think that's probably a lot for you for the uh you know like i think that's about enough for the first lesson if you're new and you know like uh, brand new to hacking this game so this should give you a lot to digest. And if you have questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to address them. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.